this market has been here um, pretty much unchanged since its founding, and it is really the real deal. My grandmother started here in uh, 1935, but I personally, we've been here almost 30 years, my wife and I. Well, I've come to the farm woman's market for decades. My grandmother introduced me to it. It's just fresh, that's the reason. It's just brought it from the farm and they set it over here so I get for the fresh taste of it. So. I come here for one thing, the best tomatoes in town. The farm women's market has set aside some spaces to bring in unique uh, vendors and craftspeople and artisans so that we can continue to improve the mix here at the market. We source a lot of things that you'd never find in a grocery store like that are fairly perishable, like a patty man squash or a lima bean. Um, a lot of the rhubarb's not very good there at a grocery store, but it's fantastic here. You've got artisanal cheese people, you've got artisanal chocolate, we've got fantastic, beautiful, ready-made foods, crab foods, so fantastic Indian. You know, there's a lot of other things that are made locally and you can support local products. I'm here to sell the flowers that my husband and I grow on our farm in Laytonsville. We've been doing it over 30 years. He was a horticulture major at the University of Maryland and I was in love with him and we started growing flowers. And we loved them. The cheese we have here is made on the farm where the livestock are and the cheese tends to be very, very good because the milk is very fresh that goes into it. It's very welcoming, it has a kind of a rustic look to it, it kind of feels like you're walking into someone's home. There's a lot that brings you to downtown Bethesda but this is something sort of old fashioned and um, authentic. We have apricots, blackberries, probably four or five different kinds of plums. We have white peaches, we have the yellow peaches, we have nectarines. Uh, everyone's just really friendly, willing to help, willing to offer you free samples, which is also a plus. It's kind of like eating in the neighborhood. There's a lot to choose from. <laughs> that's, that's the other thing. We can eat <laughs> Greek and we can eat Indian at the same time. So. And the bakery is sinful. Coming to the farmer's market is a total experience, and everything is homemade here. Wine tasting has been a big success so far, and we're going to continue that. Um, we have the local restaurants that are coming in and doing food tastings. We're here year-round, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays.